everybody and welcome back to Tenzin Motorsports. Today we're going to be doing some more Bevency products. And if you're sick of seeing my car lifted on its side sitting here unmovable, that's going to change here very soon. The reason that the car has been sitting like this is there's been a lot of projects going on. I ran the fuel lines down this side of the, the driver's side of the car, which is one of the reasons why it's up like this. Just got done finishing up all the welding that I needed to do in the back. And today I'll be doing these toe adjustment plates. Before we get into today's video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like if you enjoy this type of content. Also make sure to check us out on Instagram, Tenzer underscore motorsports. We do giveaways, we got one going on right now and I need to get that one done. <laughs> it's, I'm actually pretty excited about it. It'll be kind of a cool one to do. Uh, but yeah, follow us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports. These right here, I will have linked down below along with a discount code, which is right here. And I'll also have that linked down in the description. And uh, if I remember the comments as well, these are super, super simple to replace. But I'll tell you one thing right now, if you're not ready for an alignment, don't do them yet. I am ready for an alignment. I had the whole back end of this car out. This car is getting the same treatment done here soon. Now that I've done a rear end before and welded up the subframe reinforcement plates, I feel a lot better about my wife's car. These right here, will put you out of alignment as soon as you take them off. But what it does do is it allows you to control your toe adjustments. Oftentimes cars have very little adjustment in the rear and like a tire shop will be like, oh, it's out of adjustment. Have you ever been to a tire shop and, and you've got a completely stock car and you're like, well, this is out of adjustment, we can't, but we can't adjust it. So how is it out of adjustment? Well, the part's worn out. This right here will allow us to adjust it even more than the factory does. A lot of the BMWs do have some adjustments. Some cars are just completely solid. We, I was working on a Dodge the other day at work. If something's worn out, you're done. The, the rear end, you can't change anything. I think it was completely solid. So let's get an up close view of these. Again, super easy to remove these. Uh, I think we're, I think it's really only four bolts. Let's look these over and get this started. All right, so here is the part. This is the rear toe adjustment. There'll be one on each side. One of the reasons that you can adjust it so much is this right here. As you can see here, if you have a bolt there, you can slide this bracket back and forth and this will give you more adjustment in the rear. Uh, really nice welds here, the paint looks nice. It's just overall, it's really well made. And I'm excited to show you how easy these are to put on. Real quick, I'll just walk you through it. These are in the car, I believe it's this way. There'll be three bolts. So one here and then these two here. If you pull those out, I believe they're 18 millimeter. Once you drop the arm down, you can kind of pull on it. If you need to get a crowbar, you can push down on it. And then there'll be a bolt and a nut through here. Once you remove that bolt and the nut, the old one slides off, you pop the new one on, push the arm back up, run those bolts in, and that's it. So super simple, really easy to do, and I'm very excited uh, to get this done. Bevency has really stepped up their game with the products they offer and the quality of parts. This looks really, really good, and I would trust this every day of the week. And that's why both cars are getting a set of these through Bevency. So after taking the back wheel off, you can see here there is the new Bevency bushing that we installed a few weeks ago. There is one of the bolts there, and then there are two more right there. 18 millimeter, and these should come right out. All right, once it is down like this, I'll get a pry bar underneath here. And then I should be able to swing this down just enough to get that bolt out of there. I think you can see that bolt here. The nut is just right here. Um, I'm gonna need both hands to do this, so let me see if I can get the camera set up. Well, I apologize for the lighting. It's difficult for me to get lighting in there for me, let alone for the camera and myself. You can't do this without a crowbar, as you can see there. I use my crowbar quite a bit. Other than that, it was just kind of like a 18 millimeter end wrench. So everything that you need to take this off is all 18. 18 millimeter bolts with an 18 millimeter bolt and a nut through this. Now that I've got this one off, we'll put the new one on. You just make sure that the sides match up. And before we do that, you can just see how much more adjustment is in there. For those who are interested to know, it took me about six or seven minutes to get this one off. And that was with, you know, trying to work around the camera where normally I would have my creeper that I'm laying on where the camera was. So that, that made it a little bit harder, but I'm gonna slip this one on there. Again, you'll pull that back down, slip this one on, and then just put everything back together.
All right, here it is with a new part on. Besides it looking great, uh, super easy to do, I think this is definitely worth it. You can see how much adjustment that has in it. Now again, the OEM ones have adjustment. These just have a lot more. If you're doing a race car build like what we're doing, this is definitely a must. You need to be able to control your toe, your camber, which is coming soon, get camber from uh, Bevancy as well. Uh, all that's coming soon, so we need to be able to completely control the rear end of this car. So I'm going to do the other side real quick here. But other than that, it's a pretty simple video. Uh, this took me about 15 minutes on this side with, you know, trying to fuss with the camera and the lighting and stuff like that. So you should be able to install. I know that the fuel tank, my fuel tank being gone, makes this a little bit easier. And uh, this should be fairly straightforward. Go do the other side real quick. And then I also want to show some more side-by-sides, the old and the new stuff together. But other than that, thanks for watching, and we will see everybody in the next video. Damn!